This is Dr. James Delap at the University of Colorado School of Dental Medicine with a video snippet on the fabrication of a vacuformed occlusal guard. First, take your index cast and vacuform 0.40 clear stint on it. A small amount of smoke is produced when heating the stint material. Monitor closely so you do not set off the fire alarm. Cut away the excess stint material at the edges of the vestibule so it can be remounted. Use the green occlusal ring behind the molars and reset the incisal guide pin. Note it is likely to be 3 to 5 millimeters above your reference mark. The supplies needed include ortho powder, ortho liquid monomer, Vaseline to lubricate your mandibular cast, a mixing cup, and a tongue blade. Next, mix a small amount of ortho powder and monomer and cover the anterior teeth. This will serve as an incisal index for the splint. With the lower teeth lubricated, close the articulator to the adjusted incisal guide pin settings and capture the incisal edges of the mandibular teeth. After the ortho resin has set, Capture the posterior cuss tips in resin as shown in pencil. Adjust away the divots in the acrylic, leaving a flat plane area as previously described. Adjust the splint with articulating ribbon as you've done in previous projects. Special emphasis should be made on developing canine rise and the elimination of working and non-working interferences. Finally, polish the splint on the model and do not remove her grating. This is Dr. James Lapp with a video snippet on the fabrication of a vacuum-formed occlusal garden.